from now on the Greenfield collection will be shorter than in the past, I've included this week, as usual, a good mixture of popular favourites and of rarities. One of Handel's best-loved arias for Easter, and a favourite movement from Vivaldi's Four Seasons, as well as a rare and delightful flute concerto by Galuppi, and a charming duet from a Spanish zarzuela. So, I hope you'll join me, Edward Greenfield, for this week's programme. And you can hear the Greenfield Collection at 8.30 tomorrow here on BBC World Service. Well, now it's time for our request programme, A Jolly Good Show, with Dave Lee Travis. I know that noise, don't tell me. I'll recognise it in a minute. It's something very well known. It's the sound of my neighbour bringing my lawnmower back. No, it's, um... It's a jolly good show from the BBC's Wild Service. Hello and welcome. We have some magnificent stuff for you. And Ibrahim Pessima from Kenema in Sierra Leone says, Hi, Mr. Jolly. No, you've got it wrong, Ibrahim. It's Mr. Good Show. My first name is Jolly. All right, Jolly, good show. Have you got that right now? You are under arrest, it says here, for burning the right arm of my T-shirt. I've never been to Kenema. Um, it happened when I was rushing to put you on my radio, listening to your program. My T-shirt has been admitted to the hospital and is presently undergoing medical treatment with Dr. Taylor. Now, to help me get through this difficult time, please play anything by Mark Morrison for my friend Al-Haji Tawarali and my T-shirt. Uh, could you please send me a new one until my old one recovers? Well, I've heard some stories in my time, but an intensive care T-shirt? Please. Here's the return of the Mac. Oh, my God. 
Return of the Mac. That's Mark Morrison for you opening up today's Jolly Good Show. And straight away, after the first record, we have a brand new slot on the program, and it's called Dave's Most Wanted. Well, actually, that's what it's called, but really what it should be called is the entire bunch of listeners all around the world to a Jolly Good Show's Most Wanted. But we couldn't fit that on the label of the jingle, so we've just called it Dave's Most Wanted. Basically, what this is, is a realization of the fact that we get thousands of letters coming in every week from all over the world for different records. And what we're doing is, we're choosing records which have got more requests than any other on a particular week. We're going to feature that record and some of the people who have requested it as well. So, Dave's Most Wanted, we thought we'd got to have a jingle that goes with that, so what could we possibly do? Well, from America in the 50s, there was a series, a police series, in which um, Joe Friday, a very famous detective, used to look out for America's Most Wanted. So we thought we'd steal that. Uh, and therefore, I can proudly introduce for the very first time on A Jolly Good Show, the official jingle for Dave's Most Wanted. And remember this, because when you hear this sound, it means you're bound to be hearing a monster hit record. Yes, it does. Exciting, isn't it? That's it. Right, we have a few, a uh, few people to mention now into our first record, which incidentally is rather special. I'll tell you about it in a second. K.G. Sarojini from Kananore in Kerala in India has asked for anything by the Spice Girls. See, I told you it'd be special. And please dedicate it to my friend K. Krishna in Ranchi. Uh, Samuel Igbafe from Abuja in Nigeria says, Dave, kindly play a Spice Girls song for Fiona, Rita, Pius, Livinus, uh, Paul, Peter, and Chris Aneke. And P. Padmanabam from uh, Dharmadam in Kerala in India would like to play the Spice Girls set dedicated to myself. I certainly will. What we're going to play is something, well, this is quite special, really, because on the 14th of March this year, uh, here in Great Britain, we had uh, Comic Relief uh, and Red Nose Day. And for those of you who perhaps are not aware of it, Comic Relief is basically lots of comedians, well-known comedians uh, in Great Britain, just getting together and putting on a great lot of entertainment and also egging on the rest of the nation to do crazy things to earn money for charity, uh, which ends up with Red Nose Day because, of course, all clowns used to wear red noses and probably still do. And so we had a Red Nose Day on March the 14th. What's all this got to do with our first Dave's Most Wanted? Well, the Spice Girls have uh, donated all the money from the single you're about to hear to Comic Relief. So who knows, apart from great music from the Spice Girls in Who Do You Think You Are, there could be some money from them coming in your direction soon as well to help out in the needier sections of the various countries around the world. <laughs>
Well, there it is. We've had quite a few people asking for the Spice Girls. That's on Dave's Most Wanted. If uh, you have a record that you think is uh, is going to be great, you don't even have to address it to anything other than the show. And uh, by definition, we'll sort out the Most Wanted of that week and we'll play that record for you again, same time around next week. Uh, Spice Girls then doing their bit for charity with that one called Who Do You Think You Are? Now, Tom Stone has written in from Phnom Penh in Cambodia. He's formerly of Kansas City in the USA. And he said, Dear DLT, I'm writing from Phnom Penh and one of its many appealing traits is that it's a very diverse community. Lots of different folks with different strokes, people from all over the place there, and there's the occasional lost backpacker still trying to find Kansas. Hey, we're not in Kansas anymore. That's Dorothy, isn't it, and her daft dog. Uh, that's the Wizard of Oz. I remember that, yes. Uh, in all this diversification, nobody can tell me what a Procol Harem is. Isn't that a car? Uh, is it, if you could please play a whiter shade of pale, somebody around here might remember. And um, another one of Phnom Penh's attractions, wait for this, is a 24-hour BBC frequency in FM. So if you please, kick over the generator and crank up the volume. Thanks from Tom Stone. Uh, Tom, I know you've been, you know, trying to puzzle people and to find out what a Procol Harem is, but even if we tell them that it's a group, have you ever tried to explain the lyrics? Have you? of a whiter shade of pale? Because I, I just let you into a little secret. I went to Gary Brooker. He's the guy from the group who wrote the song. And I actually face to face said to him, what is this song about? And he said, I haven't got the foggiest idea. <laughs>
Yes, her face at first turned ghostly, a whiter shade of pale. Still don't know what it's all about, but it sounds like fun to me. Shall we slap our hands across the water? It's time for our pop bow. Yes, this is where we take one of the many people that have been applying to become pop pals and read out their details, uh, read out the top three favorite records and play the number one as well in order to get you lot interested in writing to him or her. Well, this week's a, it's a her and she is Sarah Grout. She's from New Zealand and she writes, I'm a 19-year-old student of English and film at Auckland University. I'm a very keen fan of all British music, especially from the indie scene, but I guess my favorite bands would have to be Blur and The Beatles. There's quite a, a wide chasm between those two. Uh, being a student of English and film, I love going to the movies or to the theatre, and I also enjoy reading and writing. I hope someday to be a famous director of music videos and feature films. Apart from that, I also like playing soccer and cricket, but I'm not good enough to play seriously, and I usually just goof around with my friends. Oh, that sounds about right for me. If you'd like to write to Sarah, the address is Pop Pal New Zealand, a jolly good show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. I'll repeat that again for you in a moment, but let's have a look at uh, Sarah's all-time favourite top three records. They are, at number three, Lovely Rita Meter Maid from The Beatles. At number two, High and Dry from Radiohead. And at number one, Blur. This is a low. <laughs> This is a low, which is the number one favourite of our pop pal this week, who is Sarah from New Zealand. Now, if you want to write to Sarah, then please, it's the following address. Pop pal New Zealand, a jolly good show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. And write to the same address if you wish to become a pop pal yourself. But please, make sure you put in the details, you know, give, give us some nice juicy details that we can tell everybody else around the world and that might tempt them to write into you. You know what I mean? Be nice. It would be lovely to hear from you. 
Now, Adole Francis Adole from Makurdi in Nigeria, says DDLT. Soon, I'll be making a five-day expedition on the River Niger, uh, the biggest river in Nigeria. So as not to miss any BBC moments, I'll be on the deep river with my shortwave radio and presumably an extremely long mains lead, uh, will you? Anyway, it says, please plays me uh, True Blue by Madonna for my friends Emmanuel Ikpe, uh, Gabriel Onyilo, and Joseph Arumona. Uh, cheerio from Adole Francis Adole. Well, listen, when you're out there on the river, think of me. And don't drop it over the side, for goodness sake. Otherwise, Madonna will be going... <laughs> She's very strange. She's had a baby. She's had a film. And uh, I don't know which was harder for her, giving birth to the baby or giving birth to the film. But, you know, Evita and all that stuff. She seems to have settled down a bit. She's not quite as potty as she was before. But she's still a darn fine singer, and we think she's good. That was True Blue. Now, Charlie Deering has written in from Ecuador via the email. You know the address now, but I'll, I'll remind you anyway. It's ws.pop at bbc.co.uk. Dear Dave, says Charlie Deering, my family and I are originally from Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland and now currently live and work in Ecuador. We were listening to a jolly good show for about 18 months. And we have to say, we've never heard of anyone writing to you from Ecuador. Well, you haven't been listening closely enough, obviously. Maybe this is due to a lack of publicity. Therefore, would you send us a BBC World Service T-shirt? We'd be willing to do some advertising for you free of charge. Don't you think that's a great idea? Of course, I think it's wonderful. Um, as I'm already sticking my neck out, do you think you could play Days Like This by Van Morrison and dedicate it to my wife, Tanya, and two children, Naomi and Mark? Many thanks, Charlie Deering. Well, it's the last record on the program, and uh, it's a nice choice. Here is Van Morrison. <laughs> There'll be days like this When there's no one complaining There'll be days like this Everything falls into place Like the flick of a switch Well, my mama told me There'll be days like this When you 
no need to worry There'll be days like this When no one's in a hurry There'll be days like this When you don't get betrayed By that old Judas kiss Oh, my mama told me There'll be days like this When you don't need an answer There'll be days like this When you don't need a chance There'll be days like this When all the parts of the puzzle Start to look like they fit Then I must remember There'll be days like this Playing tricks when you don't have no freeloaders, I to get the kicks in. When that pimple is business, the way that you want to live, I just have to remember there'll be days like this. When no one steps on my dreams, there'll be days like this. When people understand what I mean, there'll be days like this. When you ring out the changes of how everything is Well, my mama told me There'll be days like this. Van Morrison. Uh, Mama said there would be days like this, and indeed, I've lived through a few of them. Uh, Enough time now for me to just say thank you very much indeed for listening in. If you'd like to write to me, it's DLT, a jolly good show, BBC Wild Service, Bush House, London, or you can telephone our little machine and leave your own message and hear yourself on the radio uh, on London 171 379 4565. That's it. Thank you very much indeed for listening into the program. I hope you've enjoyed our jolly good show this week and that you'll join us at the same time next week for more fun. Until then, above all else, you stay healthy, okay? See you next week. Bye-bye. Many thanks to Dave Lee Travis for another Jolly Good Show. That address once again is Dave Lee Travis, a Jolly Good Show, BBC World Service, Bush House, London. And you might well be aware of our programme changes here on BBC World Service, so if you want to tune in to Dave Lee Travis, well, you're in luck if you're listening in Africa, because uh, he's on Saturday, again at 8.30 Greenwich Mean Time. If you're listening in Europe and the Middle East, well, he moves to Sundays from the 6th of April, uh, on Sunday at 6.30 GMT, and uh, next Saturday at 8.30, if you're listening in Europe and the Middle East, here on BBC World Service, we'll be having Andy Kershaw.